Hey, what's going on? Yo, Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the DLSS 3 and DLAA in Forza Horizon. Now, this just came out today in a 15 gigabyte update. So that being said, if you're not seeing these options on your game, you have to download the new update, okay? And it's being released like in different portions and different parts of the world. So just wait for it. It should come. So that being said, we're going to start with DLSS 3 with frame generation on. Now, this game right here is pretty well optimized already. So I'm not even going to mess around with the low DLSS settings. We're going to go with quality right off the bat. So we have here, I'm going to unlock variable with a frame rate. I'm going to have motion blur turned off. And we're going to be trying on DLSS super resolution with frame gen. Uh, reflex is already on by default additionally this is all maxed out as high as you can as far as i know i mean you can't turn anymore to the right so we're gonna go with this so i'll press escape and let's go check out the next scene Alright, so we have some trees and foliage. So the DLSS 3 right here. Let's go. So I know some of y'all out there really don't know what DLSS is all about. Uh, but basically, it's NVIDIA's new upscaler that uses AI technology. So that's why we're getting like 160 frames per second right now. 156 4K full ray tracing. That is unheard of. I mean, this looks pretty darn incredible. Oh man. Sorry, this is like my first time around here. Pretty incredible, man. I just don't like the whole highlighted road. Like, I don't, I don't need that. It, I can see the road just fine. All right, so this is going to go to another level, which is going to be a jungle, which I actually really like. So once that's done, I'm going to replay the two levels. But in the next one, we're going to be doing DLAA. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, some flickers there on the reflections a little. Alright, here we go. This looks pretty darn good, even with the LSS, right? And as expected, it's going to lose some frame rates in the jungle. We're at 146 now. Still looking pretty nice. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do is, after this is over, I'm going to turn on DLAA. Sick. Your 
Nice when you see this. Keep going. Pretty, pretty darn cool. All right, so let me turn off this recording and I'll be right back because I can't skip the cutscenes, unfortunately. Okay, so we're back and let's go to the settings real quick. Video, 4K, full screen, same thing, except for now we have DLAA, all right? So deep learning, anti-aliasing turned on and let's go check this out. All right, here we go. Anti-aliasing. Let's roll. Okay. So, right off the bat, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but the image is a lot sharper, which makes a lot more sense because DLAA does not use super scaling. It doesn't upscale the image. DLAA is just another anti-aliasing technique, kind of like TAA or TSR. So, this is running way sharper than DLSS because DLSS actually upscales the image for you. But as you can see, in return though, we lost FPS. But at the same time, even without DLSS on, it still looks amazing as far as the gameplay. Doesn't stutter or anything like that. And like I said, this game is pretty well optimized, right? So 105 frames per second, 106, a 4K, full extreme ray traced. On an Intel 10300K, it's not even the newest, latest and greatest. It's like three generations back. The 4090 eats this game up even without DLSS on, which is DLAA. And it plays amazing. Looks amazing, plays amazing, and... One of the things is, if, if you're playing non-competitive, just single-player RPG games, DLA, DLAA would be good for you. If you're playing shooters or something like that, you want that FPS, then yeah, you might want to use DLSS 3 or frame gen. Um, so, you know, there's nothing new. Gamers, we've been having to decide between performance and quality image for a long time, but at least now, the difference is starting to get close to each other. Because DLSS 3, if I didn't see the LAA, DLSS 3 would have been enough for me. But after looking at DLAA, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to play this with DLAA on, obviously, since I already paid for the 4090, right? Which, again, before I had the 3090, two years later, I sold it. I almost broke even with it. And then I bought this MSRP, $1,700. Well worth it. Because you have encoding, AI, you can use it for deep learning. It's not just a graphics card anymore. But my goodness, this looks incredible. I mean, it doesn't help. Frames per second doesn't make me a better player. So you can see I'm still pretty terrible at driving. But at least it looks good when I'm crashing. I like that random dog is crossing. This is a really nice game. This is actually my first time playing it. A Forza game. And I just messed up that thing. Sorry about that. Did I just crack that windshield? That's kind of cool. See, it messed him up too. 90 frames per second. I'm not going to tell the difference between, honestly, 140, 160 to 90. As long as it doesn't dip 60, it's fine. Looks incredible. Ooh. All right. 
Well, that's pretty much it for this video, yo. Clearly, quality, DLA wins. Frames per second, DLSS 3 if you must have 1 million frames per second, really. But for me, I'm going to stick with DLAA if I were to play this game for real. This is the final See y'all in the next one. Peace out.